What's up, plant people? My name's Stacia. This is Oops, I Sold My Planties. And thanks for coming to hang out. Hang out. So today, I'm going to make my first attempt at a decorative bog for my carnivorous plants. So I got these last year. They made it through the winter. They're still moist. There's some pieces that need to be trimmed off, which I will definitely do. And then we're going to get them potted up. Hang out. Check it out. All right, you guys. So I thought I'd try my hand at a little bit of voiceover. First things first, we're going to go ahead and remove the old foliage from these plants. They were purchased last year and they were living outside in a little bit of a makeshift bog because I am a damn lazy ass and I didn't do the bog that I had planned for them last year. So now I've changed up my situation a little bit. I've got a greenhouse out back so the majority of the plants that were living inside are now living outside and I've decided to do more of a terrarium theme inside. If you've not seen my previous video of my greenhouse I will tag it for you and uh, you can go check that out so since these lived outside I found some roly-polies there I am kicking one of them out that had set up residence in my plants and I've decided that I need to absolutely clean these up as much as possible because I don't want to bring those inside intentionally um, excuse me, unintentionally. I only want to bring them in intentionally. So occasionally I am being that these plants are living inside. I probably will have to feed them, meaning not fertilizer, but bugs, insects, um, things that carnivorous plants thrive on. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these up a little bit and then we'll move on to the other stuff. Alright, so now that we've got that all cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and put some rocks down in the bottom for a drainage layer. I found some stuff that needed to be moved out. Then we're going to add in the peat moss. It is just peat moss, no am amendments, moistened, that is it. And carnivorous plants do like a slightly more moist mixture so they do like to stay damp i keep them i have the medium very damp that they're in now and they seem to be loving it and thriving Alrighty, so i first off try to go ahead and plant everything in there in one big clump and then decide against it later because i do have some moss and other things that i wanted to put on there as well and i thought i could make it a little more aesthetic by separating stuff out so as you watch you'll see that i do that here shortly
So as I got all the moss placed in there and the plants where I wanted them to be, I took a look, I thought it was super cute, but it was missing a little something. So I tried to fill in as much as I could to make it look more like a landscape than pieces kind of placed in there, you know, together. I, I really wanted to do the best I could to make this a super cute setting. So I decided to throw a couple of these little rocks in there just to kind of give it a little bit more of a landscape-y feel. Um, I think it turned out cute. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have any suggestions, if you think something might not work out here, please let me know. I don't want to kill these carnivorous plants. They're so cute. And this little setup is so freaking cute, you guys. Oh my God. So let's go inside and take a look at where it's going to live once it's all done. All right, you guys. So here's what everything looks like set up inside and in its little home. I think it's super cute. I hope you like it too. If you do, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. Mark your notification bell for all and give us that thumbs up. We're doing this kind of stuff around here. And as I always say here on my channel, thanks for coming to hang out. Y'all come back and bring your friends. If you don't want to bring your friends, that's cool because you guys are the reason I'm here and I'm doing this. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.